Alrighty, going over how to use DJI Pilot to automate flight to a specific location. So goal here would be you'd like to input a GPS location to the controller, have the UAS fly to that location, then hover, and then it can regain manual control. After learning this process, it's gonna take about a minute to set it up for your information. And in short, going to complete this through the use of a waypoint mission. Reminder that only DJI Pilot on Android has this option. You could technically use DJI Ground Station Pro on an iPad for a waypoint mission as well, but you do lose some of the functionality of the Pilot app when you're in manual flight with the Ground Station Pro app as it's more built for surveying and mapping side of things. Okay. But getting started in here, first thing you need to determine a location. So find it easiest to just go to Google Maps and go ahead and click on the map. You'll get a point there. And then in that box on the bottom, if we enlarge that here, you'll see there is a GPS location provided. So in this case, we're using a, a tree, but obviously it could be a house or other points of interest that your GPS location would be for. When we're creating a waypoint mission, which we've covered in some previous video videos, we'll go mission flight, create a route, waypoint, and then set waypoints. Live mission recording would be if we're setting the waypoint with the drone itself. Some notes here for our mission planning. You do not need to be connected to the drone to plan the mission. So if you have a smart controller or crystal sky, that's all you need to plan this mission. When we do execute our waypoint mission, the drone's gonna go up to a set altitude that we have predetermined, and then it's going to go straight to the starting waypoint from that current location. So be aware of any obstacles between the starting location of the drone and the first waypoint, up and straight over. Waypoint missions do require a minimum of two waypoints. So that's where it gets a little bit tricky here. You do have to place two waypoints find it easiest to just place a waypoint on the way to the location we're going or right next to the location. But another stipulation here that waypoints must be greater than a half a meter away from each other. So you could place your second waypoint in this case, you know, what is it, three feet or so away from your first waypoint and you'd be good to go. So now that we've entered our waypoint mission planning, go ahead and name the flight route and then select the drone type. For this situation, we'll just go with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. And then we're going to be selecting height. So that will just be based off of the takeoff point of the drone. So realize if you have some significant terrain change, the altitude that is being used is the height based off your takeoff point. Next up, for planning our route, we can determine the speed of the drone and the height. So right here, 200 feet, that's when we start a mission, the drone is gonna go up to 200 feet and then fly to that first location. Aircraft yaw, I think it's best to just leave that along the route. Basically the front of your drone is just going to face the route as it's moving forward. So kind of natural movement there. Gimbal control, so you're just doing that as manual, so you can control the gimbal as the drone is flying. And then upon completion, we want the drone to hover instead of doing a return to home or something like that. So then we can assume manual control at the location we've determined the drone to fly to. So now we're going to just click on the map. You can click anywhere and that's how you drop a waypoint. And then from there, we're going to select the waypoint menu on the right side. So that's the third one down there highlighted in the orange box. I like to leave speed and height just as follow route in this case, because we'd like the drone to maintain the speed and maintain the 200 foot height. Then we can scroll down and change the longitude and latitude of this waypoint. So right now we only have one waypoint, but you can see at the top of the menu there, it says waypoint one. And you can see it is our starting waypoint and it is blue because it's selected right now. So now using our previously determined location, we can open these up and type it in. And you can see now the waypoint has moved to our predetermined location. Next up, going to zoom in and tap on the map again. 
once again, it's got to be greater than half a meter away. I probably could have gone a lot of closer here. I just knew I'd be taking off from this position. So I just dropped a waypoint on the way there. But if I was not sure of my takeoff location, I would place a second waypoint a lot closer. And then I'm going to click on the swap, the start and end waypoint so that the waypoint I change the location to is the ending point. Okay, so hopefully that's not confusing there, but the way I did it was we first dropped the waypoint and input the longitude and latitude, and then I added the second waypoint. So right now, my drone would go to the starting waypoint that I wanted it to end up at and then go to the second waypoint. But instead, I'm clicking the swap, the start and end. So now it will go to this waypoint first and then to my predetermined location. If you accidentally add a third waypoint by just clicking on the map, I've done it before myself, just make sure that waypoint is selected in blue and then you can click the trash can to delete the specific waypoint. Okay, so now we set up our mission. Go ahead and review it really quick. We press the play button to start. The drone is gonna go up to the altitude we set. It's gonna fly in a straight line to the starting point, still at 200 feet. We can control the gimbal as it's going. We do not have control of the drone. Then the drone flies to waypoint two. And after arriving at waypoint two, the drone's gonna hover, the mission ends, and we regain manual control of the drone. A few things to realize during flight. As I said, you do not have manual control of the drone. At the top, you'll see it is executing our waypoint mission. So if you would like to get out of that and regain manual control, perhaps there is another aircraft in the area, or you've determined that you no longer want the drone on this route, find the easiest way to do that is just change your flight switch on the remote controller between P mode, positioning mode, and sport mode or addy mode, and then put it back into P mode, and then the drone will go in back into GPS mode, assuming we do have the GPS connection there. You could also use the stop or pause button on the screen itself, or you could use the pause button on the remote controller. So we'll show a video at the end here, just so you can see an example of pausing or stopping the mission mid-flight. Just wanted to note a simpler manual process with the Matrice 300 RTK and H20. You can open up your map view with the H20 attached, drop a pin using the pin in the top left, click on the pencil after selecting the pen pin, <laughs> the pencil after selecting the pin and edit that GPS coordinate. And then you can just manually fly the drone to the coordinate using the screen shows you pretty much what direction the pin is in. So just making note of that. And then just wanna show a video of the whole process here. So we'll create our route, set waypoints, select our aircraft, make sure we have display altitude height as height, gimbal control manual, hover upon completion, and we'll set height at 200 feet. You can really just click anywhere on the map to drop a waypoint. We then go to our waypoint menu. We see we're on follow route there. Edit our longitude and latitude. And you can see as those are edited, the waypoint will move. Looks like I had the longitude pretty close. And that being said, you can Obviously, just use the map on the controller here to pre-plan beforehand as well. Don't have to necessarily use Google Maps, but find it easier to get a location there sometimes. We zoom in, add our second waypoint, click the SE button in the top left. So then our longitude latitude that has been set is where the flight mission is going to end. Hit the blue play button, click on upload flight mission, and then start. Now you can see we're in waypoint. So this is not a manual flight. The drone is flying itself in this case. You can click on the camera view and still do those options you would in manual flight, such as adjusting your palette, your camera view. And then you can easily swap back to the map view as well to see exactly where you are on your waypoint mission. 
as I noted, we'll up to our 200 feet. And now we're going on a straight B line to that starting point. See, we have manual control of the gimbal as well per our selection. Still adjust brightness and all that as well if we want to brighten up the shadow in this case. We reached our first waypoint. You'll get a visual cue from the controller as well. And now we have reached our tree location from back on Google Maps. Now the mission ends and you can see the drone swaps over to PGPS mode. You get a message flight route mission complete. And now we have complete manual control over the drone. Alrighty, so that is that whole process in action. And then just showing pausing or stopping the mission mid-flight here. In this case, we're just hitting the red X. Are you sure you wanna stop the mission? Yes. Now it's stopped and we're in GPS mode. I'm gonna go ahead and resume the mission from the point we paused by just hitting play again. And now I'm going to flip the flight mode on the remote controller to stop our drone in its tracks. And in this case, went from Addy mode back to P mode. And you can see P GPS mode, full manual control over the drone, where we're able to move that and no longer in the waypoint mission. So hopefully that helps answer that process and gives you some information and things to look out for.